Hi crafters, it's Karen and I have a project to share. I created a mini album uh, using the canvas, canvas uh, book from Canvas Core and um, I wanted to share it. So the paper collection that I used for this project is from Peon Designs and I had gotten this paper a long time ago specifically for this project and I'm just now doing it. But I had gotten this paper from Your Scrapbook Supply and for Peon Designs the 6x6 sheets come in 12x12 and you have to cut them apart which is which is absolutely fine. Um, it's all double sided. The papers are all double sided. There's a lot of cut aparts. There's these like sentiments and tags and then um, smaller um, images really cute. I really love this um, collection and, and I love the way Pian Designs does their um, six by six sheets. So obviously I have quite a bit left um, and this is what this will give you an idea as to the colors of the collection. The soft blues and browns really sweet. So that's the uh, collection that I used. I also used these mini craft sacks from uh, the Paper Studio and I used these as pockets for my album and I'll share, show you how I did that. These are the different designs and they go with the beach paper that's also from the Paper Studio. Really pretty. And I used some of these embellishments that I had made. These are cut aparts from the Paper Studio um, Beach House paper collection and I had just, you know, adhered these cut apart images onto some chipboard, went over some of them with glossy accents, went over some other ones with some of the Tim Holtz Distress Glitter. I used vint um, Walnut Stain Distress Ink around the edges and it, it just made a bunch of nice embellishments. So I have these for my next, uh, next project, beach project. So Excuse me. So this is my album and I think it came out so cute. I'm really happy with it. It's um, like I said the the canvas shell is from Canvas Court and I had gotten it from Blue Moon quite a while ago and I'm just now working with it. But as you can see all the pages are stitched. I didn't do that. It came like that and it came with this rope to tie it all together. There's quite a few pages in here as well, one, including the covers, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, eight pages. So it's quite a bit for an album. So let me share what I did for the, for the cover. So for this sentiment, this is just a, a sticker that from the paper studio where it says at the beach and I backed it on some corrugated paper from DCWB and I backed that onto some cheesecloth for the um, you know the soft look of it. The gold sand dollar it, and the seahorse here are from the Tim Holtz mini alterations dies. Um, I just love those. I get a lot of use out of them. Um, this Little starfish is just um, a piece of jewelry or something that I had gotten along the way, probably in a in a rack. Um, the little paper studios lock, I think it's paper studios. And then here's my flower cluster, cluster, and it's all sitting on um, some of that creepy cloth, which I thought worked as like beach netting. So all of these flowers, I believe, are from the um, Michaels. I created the bottle cap with an image from the Beach House paper collection. Um, this is a, sea sh a seashell from Tim Coffee um, paper collection. I used um, some other cut aparts from his collection. Whoops, here's a couple of gears on either end of the, the cluster there. And then for the bottom, this is some of that crochet trim you can find at Joann's in their dollar spot. And, um, and I backed it with this other trim from my stash. 
the key is, um, I can't remember who that's, who that's by, if it's Paper Studios, but it says happiness on there. So I thought it came out really cute. And then for the cover, or I'm sorry, for the top here for a charm, this large safety pin type, I've, type thing is something from the $2 spot last spring and I, um, at Michael's and I popped out the image that was here. It was an epoxy piece and I popped it out and I had cut this out of um, the beach collection and then I went over it with glossy accents. So I thought that worked out really well and then I made like a little charm to, and I just put it through the canvas there, see? And what I did was I, um, let's see, there's a seahorse here. This is a Prima um, charm with the wood and the little flower hanging. Um, I did slide a couple of beads on there. And there's a open starfish here, and another bead, a canvas tag. It says enjoy. Um, Yes, and then I tied some of the seam binding that I had sprayed with my um, Lindy Stamp Gang. So I thought that worked out really well. And then also on the rope is a key, and I believe this is from Michaels. And I just tied that on as if it's the key to open the album. So let me show you. And the, the um, this album was created because uh, uh, Joe and I and some good friends of ours had gone to the beach and we spent the day at the beach and it was a beautiful day. It was gorgeous out and we just had such a great time. So that's these pictures of our, are of us and our friends and neighbors. Um, so yes, so I did um, a lot of layering in this album, all the Photos are wallet size. I think they're two and a half by three. I'm not sure. Something like that. Um, and I just did a lot of layering. I used Punchinella as a stencil throughout the album. As you can see that there, here. Um, this little saying here says, some people, some people see more in a walk on the beach than others see in a trip around the world. And I loved that saying, so I popped it up on Pop Dots. This is a doily from my stash, and I sprayed it with um, olive vine, um, tattered angels, and some Lindy Stamp Gang um, for those um, tones, and then a flower from Michaels, and I had sprayed that with the olive vine tattered angels. I cut the seahorse from the gold foil paper from Michaels, and I think it just came out so cute, um, the little gold seahorse there. It's a nice touch. And then, um, yeah, so a lot of layering here. And on this other page, that's me. <laughs> um, I did some more layering. This is the other half of the sand dollar from um, uh, from the other pa from the other from the cover. And um, over here is a tag that I s slipped behind the photo mat. I did a little bit of stamping. I used some twine. Um, this is a bottle cap that I created for the album, and this is just a little ticket type cut apart from the collection, pan collection. Really cute. Again, I used some um, my Distress ink and the Punchinella to get this effect here. And then this is just some metal from my stash. I thought it was cute. It was like a little tab there. So I, I used a lot of metal and also lace throughout the album to give it that mix of... Um, you know, soft and not as soft. <laughs> so on the next page um, is this, and I love this page with the seahorses. For the background here, I used my large wooden music stamp and some brown um, um, archival ink, and I stamped the music stamp in the background. It's very subtle, but I love that touch. And then I did some more layering with paper from the collection, and then I layered on top of this lace. Um, again, a flower from 
Michael's, a little Tim Holtz gear here, and a wooden veneer heart. Um, for all of my pages, I use Fabri-Tac for everything, everything in this album. And for my, for all my pages, I distressed them with my distress tool, and I went um, inked them with the Tim Holtz Walnut Distress Ink. And for this page, I tore it a little bit and tucked a little piece of lace back there um, for, you know, the sweet touch. So that was that. And the next page, um, I tried to make it sort of a mirror image of this page, and I layered the photo on top of some burlap from my stash, um, another metal piece here. Um, this is half of one of the gold um, sand dollars that I used the Tim Holtz die to cut. Um, some more layering. I layered this border from the from the Pian collection um, above this lace from Joanne's. This is an image from the collection. I, I just thought it was really cute in the way he's looking up. I thought it was sweet. Another wooden veneer heart there. So I just thought it was really cute. And then the next page is this, and this is Joe and I. And again, um, I did some stamping with um, my small Prima uh, music stamp and some archival ink. I also used, whoops, sorry, the um, Punchinella to create this look. And I did go over um, a lot of the photos with the Punchinella, if you could see that as well. And it kind of gave a little bit of dimension and a fun touch. Do you see that where some of the photos I have... Um, you could see I used the Distress Ink to do it on top of the photos, and I just thought it was a great touch. Um, I liked it. And then uh, over here is a Tim Holtz um, compass, and I put one of his spinners there, and I laid it on top of another doily that um, I received in Iraq, and I had colored this up using my different sprays. Um, I layered the photo, I matted the photo, then I layered the photo on one of the bags, little, um, sorry, on one of these little bags um, from the paper studio and bordered it with some lace and then here's the tag inside and, and I did some stamping on it, there's the mermaid stamp and just tied a piece of metal to it just for fun, um, some recollections bling, this is one of the flowers from Michael's and for the leaf I used a metal piece. Um, and then for the next page, I didn't want to do too much because of the photo, it's kind of like Joe and solitude and everything. So for the background I used my large mermaid stamp and um, with the um, archival ink in, I forgot the, the color name, but it came out really sweet in that soft blue tone. And then I went over it with my Stardust pen, and it's not showing up, but it's very um, shimmery. Um, kind, of, kind of like the Wink Costello pen. I don't know if it's showing up, but it came out really sweet. Um, I did some other stamping there. So I thought that was a... Um, a nice touch and then I layered it with some burlap from my stash, part of a tag from the collection and a little metal piece. And then I tucked a metal piece up here as if it's a, a tab. So the next page is this. And um, I just took the photo and I did more layering, more layering with this teal type burlap. Um, another piece of the Joann's lace here, more flowers from um, Michaels, and for all the flowers I did spray them real quick with different sprays like the gold spray from Recollections and everything. This is a Prima canvas piece, um, I, I don't know what you call it, but when you ink on it, it changes color. So that's what this is with a little pearl, halfback pearl, little piece from that I created, some bling, and then over here um, is one of those um, little craft sacks, mini pockets, that I adhered to the paper before I put the paper on on my um, canvas page. So um, 
I think it's just I think it just came out really quick and it was an easy easy way to make pockets for my album so this uh, this is a stamping that I did for this one it, and I just tied a little shell on the tip of it so and then for um, this page for the background, I used another one of my stamps in that um, blue ink from Archival Ink. I did some more Punchinella on the photo, if you could see that. Um, and I just thought it came out really, really cool. And I went over the stamping with the um, Stardust pen as well. So I thought that was a, um, cute, a cute touch you know, with the stamping. And then a little bit of script stamping over here. This is a tag from the collection and I just put a metal piece there. Underneath this side here I had put some of that creepy cloth as if it's, you know, beach netting. And this is a Prima Hermit, hermit Crab, a Prima Resin piece. And um, this is another real shell. And the shells came from a little baggie that Lydia, I Triple Dog Dear You here on YouTube, had sent me. Thank you so much, Lydia. And a little bit of bling, a little halfback heart there to kind of coincide with the pearl on this side. This is another one of the Tim Coffee um, dimensional stickers there and key for my stash. Just a lot of layering and just a lot of fun to, to use up some bits and pieces. The flower is also from Michael's. And um, the next page. This is this, and for this page I, I made a little pocket on the top here. I adhered the um, little baggie to the paper before I put the paper on the canvas page, just like the other one. And this way I, and this time I orient, oriented it vertically, um, just for interest. Um, this is another Prima canvas piece that I had sprayed with this color spray. Um, this is some cheesecloth that I had altered. This is another Tim Holtz um, alterations, um, what do you call it, die cut. Um, a little um, paper studio, little flower there. Uh, some more punchinella on the photo. I like the, the look of that. Another recollections flower. This is the tag. I love that stamp and I inked the stamp both with blue and with the coffee color archival ink so it would have that um, double tone to it and this is a Prima Charm that I adhered on the bottom so just really cute and this is a date stamp um, this is a cut apart from the collection I raised it on Pop Dots so just fun and I layered some of the Joann's crochet trim with this other trim and for this page, um, I had placed some cheesecloth behind the paper before I adhered the paper to the canvas. Um, you know, just for that, um, you know, the texture and the softness of it. So I, again, I did more layering. This is a piece that I created. Um, I layered this metal piece with a little um, paper studio flower, these tiny little canvas flowers here from the mixed media section at Hobby Lobby. Again, I used the Punchinella as a stencil. Here's the other half of the canvas piece here. Just really cute. And then for this page, um, I just layered the, I created a banner here and layered the photo on top of this baggie. I love the photo on the image on here of the coral. Um, I did some punchinella. I layered the border strip on top of the the crochet um, trim there. This is some trim from the flying unicorn and I colored it up using my sprays. This is a dimensional sticker uh, from Tim Coffee. Really sweet. There's another metal piece here for interest and this is the tag and I just used my coral stamp really cute 
And this photo is cool because he's, um, our friend Robert is standing there and um, like he's um, King Triton or something and the ocean was spraying up. So it was a cool shot the way the, the waves came in and came in high as he, you know, had his arms out. And then here's Joe pretending he's going to dive in. <laughs> So I, again, I did stamping over here. I used the coral stamp and then I layered it with the mu a large music stamp that I had. And again, with the punchinella, let me show you. So I, I really liked the way that looked with the layering of the stamps for a background. And then um, this is another piece from the Tim Coffey um, die cuts and um, a small paper studio flower on some burlap and another metal piece and some more of that creepy cloth underneath here layered underneath underneath here and up on top here I adhered this before I adhered the paper and another metal piece as like a page turner type thing and then for this page I did some um, I did some more stamping. This is a large Harlequin stamp, if you could see that. And I layered it with a tag from the collection. I layered the photo on this corrugated paper from the paper studio. And this is some more Joann's trim behind here. Another Tim Coffey um, um, die cut there. Uh, I layered a piece of metal underneath and another one of the Tim Holtz um, seahorses. And I used the punchinella around there as well. And again, I used the sack here for another tag, another stamping. And then on this tag, I, I um, used a little camera char charm from my stash. And then down here is this trim, and I believe um, Marcy, Flat Gold M, had sent me this trim. Thank you so much, Marcy. This trim would be great to, to hang some um, charms off of the bottom of it, and I considered doing that, but, um, but that's what that is. And then for the last page is Joe and I, and again, I laid the picture on top of the corrugated um, paper from the paper studios and layered it on this large tag and this tag kind of coincides with the image on this page here. I tried to make um, you know the pages kind of mirror each other and try to be similar you know for that um, you know for a more continuity I guess. Anyway I used some of this lace trim here, a metal piece here and another Tim Holtz die cut there um, sand dollar. I used my mini banners punch to create this mini banner and then um, I adhered it that way. Another piece that I had created and this one has a little bit of distress um, glitter on it if it's showing up. And another piece of that um, trim here. I also went over this side with some of this crochet trim from Joann's, if you could see that there. And then the back cover is just this. Some more trim from Joann's that I colored up using my sprays and inks. And I used the stamp here. And I used this dangle trim that I believe Lydia had sent me. Really cute. So that's my beach mini album. I think it was came out really cute. Um, I had a lot of fun putting it together. And um, I just think it's a great way to remember that day. It was such a lot of fun and it's, it's nice to have good friends. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.